Hey guys, so this will be a quick little speed test comparison between these two. On the left here, we have the Xiaomi Mi 6. And on the right, Pixel XL. Turn on both at the same time and see which one boots up faster here. I have a feeling it's going to be the Mi 6. And as you can see, the Mi 6, we are in the Mi 6, just waiting for the Pixel XL. Yeah, the Pixel, for whatever reason, doesn't really reboot or turn on that fast. It is what it is. And we are in. All right. Let both phones settle down a little bit after a fresh boot up. Let's talk about them real quick. In the front, you have a lot of similarities here. Both this kind of iPhone-like kind of design going on. Now, the Xiaomi Mi 6 has the fingerprint scanner in the front. And in the Pixel, there's nothing on that chin. So there you go. In the back, a lot of similarities here also. You have the cameras and the flash in a similar place on both phones. There you go, so you can see, now I do have both in cases. This case is just the TPU case that came in the package when you buy a Mi 6. And this case right here is a Cruiser Lite uh, bug droid circuit case. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in this case, but this looks pretty cool, as you can see. Got the Android graphic there, and you can still kind of see the phone. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and open a bunch of apps right now. Let's get started. And I think that was the Mi 6. I hate how the Pixel does that landscape thing. It annoys the shit out of me. Anyway, camera. There you go, somewhere on both. Okay, we do have the clock here. Weather. We do have eBay. Practically the same on both. Let's see now. We have Snapchat. Pixel a bit faster on that one. Okay, we do have the Play Store. Okay. There you go. Let's see. Calculator. And Twitter. A bit faster there on the right. Okay, we do have some games now. Let's see, we have Grand Theft Auto. San Andreas. Go. Go. Ooh. Well, look at that. Both basically the same. Very nice. Angry Birds 2. Okay, we have the Mi 6 jumping ahead here a little bit. Mario Run. A little bit faster here on the left. Subway Surf.
Okay, a little bit faster here on the left once again. There we go. And finally, we have Temple Run 2. And again, the Snapdragon 835 on the Mi 6. A bit faster here. Go ahead and get out of that. So, I'll go ahead and do a quick little speed test of the Wi Fi on both. Make sure we're on the same server, and we are. Let's start out with the Pixel XL. This should get a healthy score, and it does. 179 down. No, not a me six. And a nice healthy score on the me six also. So now how does that translate to web browsing? I'm gonna go ahead and open Chrome here on the Pixel and the Xiaomi browser here on the left. Go ahead and do a search for GSM Arena. Let's see. Go. Not sure what's going on with the pixels. Progress bar is like stuck right there. Hmm. It's probably just a one off. Click on this one. Okay, now we have the pixel going ahead here a little bit. You can see the progress bar here on the Xiaomi. Not sure what's going on. I'm gonna go back. Back again. Let's click on Samsung. There we go. Go back, I'm gonna try this again. Yeah, so you don't really know what's going on with this website. Something weird going on there. All right, I'm gonna go, go ahead and do an image search on Civic Type R. Go. All images. I'm going to flick through both. Give you an idea of the image browsing on both phones. Generally speaking, both very fast, very fluid. Should be an enjoyable experience on neither phone. Click on this first one. go click on that there you go 
All right, so how does the multitasking hold up on each phone? Let's go through these apps quickly and just see what happens. Okay, nice and fast. Okay, maybe a little bit of a refresh on the right. Weather. eBay, you have a reload here on the Pixel. Snapchat, in RAM in both. Same thing with the Play Store, still in memory. Calculator. Twitter. Okay, we have a reload here on the right. San Andreas. It, still in RAM. Pixels restarting this game. Angry Birds. Still in RAM. Restarting the game. Mario Run. Still in RAM in, on both. So that's good for the Pixel. There you go. Pixel kept that in RAM too. Temple Run. There you go. Still in memory. And I think that's it. Are we done? Speed test. Still in RAM. And back to the Chrome app. A little bit of a refresh there. And that's it. So as you can see, both phones, generally speaking, perform very well. As you saw, Mi 6 with the 6 gigabytes of RAM kept everything in memory. So the extra 2 gigs of RAM played a factor here. Whereas the Pixel XL, I think it reloaded 2 games. So there you have it. But overall, I mean, both phones are performing really well. If you have a Pixel and you're thinking of getting a different phone, if maybe you're considering the Mi 6, or if you know if you don't have either phone, you're looking at these two. You know, I don't think you can really go wrong with both. I mean, the Mi 6, spec-wise, is the newer phone, so it has the newer Snapdragon 835, has more RAM, and the Pixel XL, so, you know, is a very good phone. It's a very smooth Android experience. You get stock Android, and the camera on this thing is arguably the best in the market right now. So yeah, just a quick little comparison here of these two phones. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think about this one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.